What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to defeat Ryan of the, what was it called, Hammerlock Gym? That's right. And he didn't exactly have a whole bunch of dragons. Actually, it was more of a combination thing, and it was kind of weird and whatnot. And, and I know I promised that I was going to showcase the Shield version's, uh, you know, battle against Ryan. But it was pretty much the same thing, you know. We kind of struggled. We kind of did this and that. And it's whatever, guys. So, now we are enabled to go to the Pokemon League, but we're going to take a side quest. Because a few episodes ago, we managed to get ourselves uh, a new bike where we can actually float through the water and do so many things. And that right there opens up a lot of stuff for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to be passing by previous locations that we've been through before. And if they have a body of water, then we're going to go right through that sucker right there. Not only that, but we're probably going to be seeing some uh, Pokemon that, you know, we could have captured... Uh, early on and all that stuff so right now the mission right here is that we have to take the hammerlock station but uh, that is going to be a no-go for right now because we're going to be going all the way back home right here to postwick right here and well we're going to be riding our bike a little i'm going to be talking a little look at that we're back home and uh we'll see what happens and then uh, after that off screen yes there will be an intense amount of training on both sides on Pokemon Sword and Shield because uh, well if you guys didn't know or if you guys haven't played the uh, Pokemon Sword or Shield the Pokemon League is basically playoff style how it should have been in, in the get-go and uh, the way we get to the Pokemon championship is when we have to defeat the same gym leaders that we, we did before not all the gym leaders but just a few gym leaders here and there so here we are where it all began again a few months ago, back in December, and now we're just making our way through because there, there is a big body of water right over there, and I kind of wanted to actually get some stuff right, you know, right over there and stuff. I've said that so many times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride my bike right here because uh, no need to be doing this. And look at that. We're finding some Pokemon right here that, you know, we've caught in the get-go, kind of like a Mike Michelangelo, Big Booty Balto, you know. Corviknight, or not not Corviknight, but you know what I mean. Uh, Shadow Blade, all them Pokemon right here. Now, all you need to do now is go through the uh, free patch of water right here, and you'll be able to actually float all over the place. As you can see, damn, it has been a long time coming, and I'm going to drive slowly right here because I'm just enjoying this. And what you can actually find right here is a Choice Band, which is an item that uh, to be held by a Pokemon. This curious headband boosts the attack, but only allows the use of one move. So let's just say, if you have a physical move like Karate Chop and you use that one move with the Choice Band, that move is the only move that gets powered up. And, well, these guys do not let me, will not let me go across. And what you can do right here is go in this place. Now, once you cross the water, you'll be able to find some more Pokemon. And now that we got all eight badges, we are able to capture any levels of Pokemon right here. That includes level 60 Pokemon, which we might be seeing. As you can see, there's Ariscuta and Barriscuta, or Barracuda, or whatever you like to call it. Barriscuta, I think. And they are very, very powerful Pokemon right here. There's just a whole school of them. And here we are in a small island. And you'll be finding another Pokemon right here that we've seen before. A rare candy. And... Let's grab this item, a bottle of a PP Max, which of course will uh, max out any of your Pokemon's PP, depending on what move it is. And just to get a glimpse of what kind of Pokemon or what, how, how, you know, how strong these Pokemon are, let's go ahead and take a look at this Dreadnought right here. Now we already have a Dreadnought, you know, Michelangelo and all that stuff. And well, take a look at that level right there, level 50. So. This is what I mean by, you know, leveling up my Pokemon. There are certain locations in the wild area, including this place right here, where you can actually find strong Pokemon, like very, very strong, and you can level up your Pokemon like that quickly. Not only that, but yeah, I'm going to be putting my Pokemon in Pokemon jobs, that way they can level up a little more, and uh, buff up a lot more teams than usual. As many of you guys already know, I have been... Uh, I have been collecting Pokemon from previous teams, previous walkers and all that stuff, and eventually we might see 
a few of these Pokemon make a, you know, make a uh, an appearance right here. Now in this area, we I actually found a Lapras here one time. If you find Lapras right here, it is a very very rare one. And look at that, Obstagoon is there. And we found ourselves a Prism Scale, a Mysterious Scale that causes a certain Pokemon to evolve. Oh yes, you already know what Pokemon I kind of want. I uh, kind of want to get. Now. The other thing, too, about this whole thing that I'm going to be doing outside of this whole episode is that I will be leveling up Pokemon, and I will be evolving a whole lot of Pokemon. I kind of I kind of want to complete the Pokedex just a tad bit. I'm going to be, you know, training from, you know, I'm training from version to version. As you can see, here we have an Obstagoon, and this guy right here looks like, uh, like Kiss all over the place. Look at that. And it is at level 50, so it is a perfect match for any of our Pokemon right here. So, look at that. There's an uh, Abstract right here, or Obstruct. And unfortunately, we can't hit this guy right now because he is protecting himself. And because of that, our defense has fallen harshly. So, yeah, this guy... One thing I've taken from any, di any Dark-type Pokemon is that they do love to lower your, your, uh, your stats right there. So... Look at that, Obstagoon has been defeated, and we get a lot more experience points. Oh yes. Again guys, I'm going, I'm going to be buffing up a lot of Pokemon right here. And not only that, but I'm going to be finding some new Pokemon too. Hopefully, maybe, maybe, just maybe, using them, probably, I don't even know. I'm kind of happy with the teams that I have on both Sword and Shield right here. Now, this area right here is Trainer Chips trying to take another Pokemon's uh, person's Pokemon that makes you you know no no different than a thief. Pokeballs are only to be used to try and catch wild Pokemon that have no trainers. Okay, that's cool. And here we have another TM, and this is TM69 Psycho Cut. A very, very good move. The user tears the target with its blades formed by psychic power. Critical hits land more easy. That is true, so true. So I'm gonna get the heck out of the way, and I think I've already, I think I've already covered everything right here. And of course, we're gonna be getting attacked by a uh, zigzagoon because why not get attacked by a zigzagoon? And it's at level 40. Like I said, guys, you're gonna be buffing up Pokemon really, really quickly. Now. While we're doing this, yeah, I kind of want to talk about a few things that are going to be coming up. Uh, obviously, I have, uh, obviously, I have, uh, what was it, started a Pokemon Silver, Ruby, and all that stuff. And many of you guys have been asking me about why won't I comment on these, uh, on these videos. I'm going to say this again, and I hope whoever watches this gets, they, understands it. I'm not angry or anything like that, guys. It's just that, you know, uh, a lot of you guys are new to my channel, so I might as well just talk about it right here. The reason why I am not commentating uh, on Pokemon Red, Blue, let's see, Gold, Silver, Ruby, Sapphire, and Fire Red is because I've already played a version, the version uh, to it. You know, Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, uh, Leaf Green. I've already commentated on that stuff. Now... A lot of you guys have, uh, a lot of you guys want to see me commentate on these, uh, on these games. Including, uh, what was it, Pokemon Silver. I've gotten a good reception on both Silver and Ruby, and many of you guys want to see that. So, I think, I think I'm going to make a small deal right here. Just a small deal. Just a tiny one. Try not to bring your hopes up or anything like that. There's berries right there. Hold on just a sec. Yes, um, so as of right now, I am just recording the gameplay, and, oh wow, I only pressed it one time. I know that I'm, I'm currently playing the gameplay, and, and many of you guys would like to hear me talk about it through, through, through this and all that stuff, and the only reason I'm not commentating is because, you know, it saves me a little bit more time, gives you a little more content on my channel. You know, the whole nine yards and all that stuff. But let's just say this, guys. Let us just say this. Uh, eventually, I'm probably going to be running out of games to play. Well, not really. Not run out of games to play. I mean, depending on what Nintendo does. Because the, 25th, the 25th anniversary is coming up. There might be a new game coming up. The new Pokemon Snap game is definitely coming up. Uh, how about this? 
and leave me a leave me you know leave me a comment down below to see what you guys think. So I'm already doing the gameplay. If and when I complete the majority of the walkthroughs that I'm doing right now, because they're gonna be quick, like Heart Gold, uh, Sword and Shield, and all that stuff. How about this? Uh, once I do that, finish Heart Gold, Soul, uh, Heart Gold, and Sword and Shield, the completion of all it. How about I go back to the non-narrated games and commentate on, you know, commentate on the gameplay. Not replay the game, if you guys know what I mean, but just like, you know, commentate on the gameplay that I've, I've shown. That way you guys see both a non-narrated and a narrated version of the game that I have not commentated, if that makes any sense. If I do that, would that make you guys happy? Comment down below. I'm pretty sure it will. And, well, there is nothing right here. I'm looking for bodies of water, guys. I really am. This is just side questing, picking out some uh, waters that I have not... Uh, crossed and I think in turf field we have a body of water that we can actually cross now there are other games that I kind of want to actually play you know I kind of want to showcase like Pokemon Coliseum XD uh, Gale of Darkness those games are, are still set in the plans within this year and yes as many of you guys are I kind of I, I kind of feel like I scared you guys some uh, somewhat uh, a few episodes ago, but yes, I will be commentating on XD uh, Gale of Darkness and Pokemon Coliseum. Trust me on that one, guys. I, I'm going to do that. It's just it's going to take me some time to actually take care of all that stuff. And look at this. We're crossing this water, and there is absolutely nothing here except for Pokemon that we can actually capture. And look at that. We found ourselves Farfetch'd right here. Galarian version of Farfetch'd. And, uh, yeah. That's what I was trying to say right there. You know, I will be commentating on specific games, guys. Trust me. It, I'm not, you know, I am not forgetting any of it right here. And let's see. Any other games in the plans right now? So now that, you know, February, I'm pretty sure by the time I'm done with this, uh, by the, with this episode right here, we're going to get, we're going to be getting to March. I do have a game in mind for March, and that is Pokemon Snap. I get it, I get it. I've played that game plenty of times, but I kind of, I kind of have a new, or I kind of have a surprise with that Pokemon Snap game. I'm kind of doing it in preparation to the new Pokemon Snap game that will be coming out hopefully in in April, and then you know I can still stay up to date with all that crud right there. Yes, I will be showcasing all that stuff, guys. Trust me, it, it is uh you know everything's in the plans. It's just that you know. You guys got to be patient with me and all that stuff. Now, let's see. Where in the hell are we going right here? Okay, so here we are in Galar Mine number two. I probably should have gone to... Oh, no. Galar Mine number two is right here. Yes, we're definitely going to be finding some stuff. Did I capture a shatter? Yes, I did. Now, let's see. Any other plans aside from all this? Let's see. I've already talked about the non-narrated walkthroughs, which will get narrated once some certain games are done. And well, let's see. Well, we're finding this item right here, the TM53 Mud Shot, which is a very, very good move. I'm not going to read it. And that enables you to go capture or try and capture this guy right here. And here we have a Gastrodon from the Sinnoh region. And well, this guy is at level 50. Not going to take my chances right now. Uh, let's see. So. Some of you guys are asking, how am I going to do this whole Pokemon League process? Now, uh, I get it. I think it's like three matches. Three matches, and in both Sword and Shield, those three matches, you know, differ from one another. I believe you take on, uh, let's see, I believe you take on Alistair and, uh, and B. Could be wrong, comment down below. And, uh... I kind of want to show every single one of those battles right there. So what's going to happen is I might have to separate those episodes by pieces because they do take a long time to actually, or maybe, I don't even know. I think so. I don't even know, guys. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking at the top of my head right now. But it looks like to me that, you know, it's going to be round by round and I'm going to be showcasing both, uh, both versions uh, piece per piece, if you guys catch my drift. You know, it's... Uh, that's pretty much how it's going to be. Um, and then the championship fight, of course, will be uh, 
Both of them will be on the same episode, I believe. The Championship 5 in both versions right there. And then from uh, from there, many of you guys would be thinking that I'm going to be going into the, the expansion pack for both Sword and Shield. The thing is, there's still an after game that you need to take care of uh, right after you beat the Elite Four. Or not the Elite Four, but just the Pokemon League in general. And... Uh, don't forget the legendary capturing. So there's a lot of stuff that we still need to cover, guys. Uh, yeah, we're in Moto Stoke right now. Hold on. Let's see. Let's talk to her. Corviknight. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we've taken care of that. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go. N let's go a little bit up north. See what's up. Let's see. We need to be right here, but we need to take care of a few other places right here. Like that is our end point. Let's see. Any bodies of water? What about here? Let's see. Route 9. Let's go to Route 9. Actually, we've already been to Route 9, so I just kind of pressed that button a little too prematurely. So we're probably going to be going... You know what? We're going to be going to the wild area because uh, there are a few spots right there I kind of want to show you guys. Uh, things that you can actually find within the wild area. And a lot of the stuff that... Or a lot of the training I'm going to be doing off screen is going to be right here in the wild area. Again, once you get the new bike, guys... A lot of stuff opens up to you, and uh, don't be too surprised if you see new Pokemon on my PC. It, it just, you know, it just a huge, huge difference uh, later on. As you can see, we got light shining everywhere. Look at that, because now that we have the bike, we can actually cross rivers, lakes, and all that stuff, and find new Pokemon right here. And I, you know what? I never gotten anything from this guy right here. And yes, this actually heals Pokemon at like every single time, so should probably take care of that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up whatever we have, and then just you know cross the river right here. This is the this is pretty much the moment of truth right here, guys, because you're going to be finding some new areas within the rivers. And let's see. There, and you're going to be finding, of course, rock shiny rocks right here too to actually you know get some battle points. So let's go right ahead and just cross it. So here we are in East Lake Axwell. And you're going to be going straight to uh, plenty of islands right here, which you'll find some TMs. And look at that. Oh my god, Sea King. Yes, you'll be able to find some new Pokemon onto the river. You land on this, the Axu's Eye, you're going to be finding some pretty strong Pokemon like this guy right here. And well, here we have the TM95 Air Slash. Very good move. The user attacks the bl with the blade of the air that slices even the sky. This may also be a target flinch. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Um, let's go with Dumbledore. And let's go ahead and take a look at what this Pokemon uh, is all about. Don't worry, guys. I already have a Pokemon that evolves into this guy. But here we go. We got Ax uh, Haxorus. And... These guys are fully evolved, and they are strong AF. Look at this, level 60. And, uh, yes, like I said, guys, we're going to be battling. We are going to be training. Yes, we're going to make sure that, you know, our Pokemon are stacked and ready to go, ready to battle and all that stuff, and look at this. And nearly defeats this Haxorus Hax right here, so we're going to try this one more time. And this guy's buffing up, so luckily for us, we're going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to, uh, you know, defeat this guy and get a shit ton of uh, experience points right here. So look at that. Say goodbye to Haxorus. I feel good about myself, and everybody gains experience points, including Dumbledore. Look at that. 4,400 points. And, yeah, its speed is not up there. So, wants to learn Psychic. Let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. It is a physical attacker. This guy... Yeah, oh no, it's not a physical attacker, it's a special one. So let's go ahead and switch this guy right here. So there we go, guys. Leveled up and ready to go. It's not my fastest. The thing is, there is a, there is a small thing, guys. Chances are I might change a few Pokemon, maybe one or two Pokemon within my sword team, maybe my shield team. Uh, I don't know. There is maybe one thing that I kind of want to change. We'll find out. We will find out eventually. Now, let's see. You'll find a tree. Fancy apples. I believe fancy apples are being used to... 
fancy apples are used to actually evolve Pokemon. A peculiar apple that makes a certain species of Pokemon evolve. Yes, I was right, but then there was a... I found a fancy apple right here. Where is the fancy apple? Can't find no fancy apple. I believe there is a Pokemon that I have. Hold on just a sec. Let's see. Let's go... Okay, hold on just a sec. Let's go right here. So there is a specific Pokemon that can evolve with the Fancy Apple or Tart Apple. And it does have two kinds of forms right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at that Pokemon. We're in the... Uh, oh, there he is. So the Pokemon I'm talking about is Applin. I believe if you give it the held item, it will evolve into the Pokemon of question right here. So that is something that I'm going to be taking care of. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, see what else this place has to offer. As you can see... There are a lot of these Pokemon right here. Battle them all, guys. Trust me. You will be getting a lot of experience points. You'll be finding a lot of items laying on the ground. Look at that. You will never run out of money. Trust me. You will not run, them out, run out of money. And then, let's see. What else can we find right here? Yes, yeah, definitely water-type Pokemon that we have yet to be captured. And look at that, Gyarados. We already got a Gyarados. The thing is that we had to evolve our Magikarp to the Gyarados. And, well, let's see. Where in the heck are we going? I know this I know this thing is making you guys dizzy. I'm very, very sorry. But, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys what we can find. And now we got, like, a sandstorm right here. Now this place... Holy crap, you're going to be finding some Pokemon right now. And look at that. So, like I said, guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of training. A lot of training, a lot of capturing, a lot of uh, watt capturing, and all that stuff. And let's go right here. Wow, it is dusty. You will be finding Pokemon right here. And the hell? Oh, damn. I've never been to this portion of this area right here. And uh, let's see. There is a Gyarados right here. Now it's raining. And you will be finding some items too. Don't be afraid to use all that stuff, guys. And, well... Yeah. <laughs> Just a lot of stuff, guys. Lots and lots of stuff that you can find. Lots of Pokemon that you can find. Man, it is... I, I would like to say it was, it's a huge blessing getting yourself the bike right here that you can actually cross the water because now... Just, it's pretty much like the whole world has opened up to you. Now, wait until we get into the other section of the wild area right here. Now, where... Okay, so I need to go somewhere right here. Jar of Honey. And, well, let's see... There's nothing right here except just these Pokemon right now. And did I ever cross this area? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what else do I have to talk about except for, you know, non-narrations and all that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of you guys have been questioning the non-narrations. And, again, I, I, I do listen to you guys' comments, guys. Trust me. It's not like I'm not ignoring you or anything. It's just, you know, I do the way. I, oh, whoa, what the hell is that? Never mind, that was just a Pokemon right there. I do these kinds of things just to be, put more, uh, you know, more views onto my channel and all that stuff. So far, we are getting close to the 8,500 mark. That's what I'm looking at right now. And, man, I am just, I, I'm just proud of the way uh, things have been, uh, well, kind of since the start of this whole pandemic, guys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> since the start of this whole pandemic... We the channel has gone up by 2,000 subscribers and uh, yeah within one year 2,000 subscribers and we are very very close to get to 10,000 sub subscribers right here guys so can't wait to get to that hopefully we'll be done with this walkthrough by the time we hit 10,000 subscribers do not know but it has been doing us uh, some miracles right here now I get that I do upload constantly. I upload like no nobody else's business, and it might not work. Like I don't know how the algorithm goes for the YouTube and all that stuff, but you know I really don't care. I honestly don't care if uh, you know some of my videos don't get seen or anything like that. The only reason, again, the only reason I do this is you know as a hobby. I you know I entertain people, obviously pandemic has got has closed us down so there really isn't a lot of stuff to do so with me just entertaining you guys and all that stuff that you know 
this is just a way of you know just communicating with the outside world helping you guys out with uh, different kinds of walkthroughs and all that stuff too and well since the start of the pandemic i've managed to complete a boatload of uh, walkthroughs including the non-narrated ones so hopefully we'll be seeing some new games games that we have not seen on my channel since i was a uh, draven xc 711 now here we are in the second portion of the wild area now now that you got the uh, little uh, the new bike right here, you'll be able to find some newer Pokemon. Of course, Whalmer is one of them, and they made it easy for you to actually capture a, while a Whalmer and actually evolve it. Now, there is a specific area right here where you can actually. There, yeah, hold on. There is a specific area right here where you can actually capture yourself a a Gallade, and it's right here. And we're just getting these items right here. Now, as you can see, there is a Gyarados right there. Gyarados become more uh, more apparent throughout these whole things. And as you can see, if you go into this island, you're going to be able to find yourself Maractus and Gallade. I am not going to be capturing this guy, but Gallade is actually a pretty strong Pokemon once you find it right there. Just be careful because it is a physical attacker. Uh, hopefully, you guys are not at the same level as I am right here. Uh, during my first go around in this game or in Pokemon Shield, uh, let's see, my starting Pokemon was at level 80 just because of uh, the bike. How did I do that? Easy. There is a specific area within this next this next part of the wild area where you can actually find yourself a lot of great Pokemon that are just powerful. And not only that, but they they are evolved evolved forms, and they will. They will be giving you a, a, a boatload of experience. And of course, this guy will give you more experience candies. And, well, not going to do that. Actually, through when I was playing Pokemon uh, Shield the first time just to get acquainted with it, I only use, well, I sparingly use my, uh, my Pokemon candy or my experience candy mainly because, let's see, mainly because of, uh, you know, I didn't, re actually, I. I didn't realize that you can actually use these rare candies to actually gain experience. I I went right here, battled everybody. I battled every Pokemon, no joke, and uh, that's how I got my Pokemon level. But then when I got to the wild area with the spike, it just became easier and easier because uh, right here you can actually find yourself the evolved forms of uh, the evolved forms of uh, which we call it Eevee, you know, Espeon, Ombreon, I believe. Uh, Leafeon is around here, and uh, let's see. This guy will actually give you a lot of great items right here. Now, this is the area where you can actually find these Pokemon. It just varies throughout the day right here. So, of course, we're going to be finding a lot of Gyaradoses. If it's snowy, if it's, uh, yeah, if it's snowy, you'll be able to find yourself Lapras right here, too. And a lot of these guys, little snow cone guys. Okay. Can't remember what their names were. <laughs> Vanillite, Vanillux, and here we have a Focus Ash, the second one. And if you go right here, guys, you will be finding some pretty strong Pokemon, depending on what the weather is. And not only that, look at that. You got yourself a Glaceon right there. We found ourselves a Dawnstone, and you'll be able to find the Elemental Stones right here too, guys. I think it's every single day you can. And here we have an Ice Stone. What else? I'm just locating all the stones right here, guys. Leaf stone. Yes, this is a place where you can find a lot of stones. A water stone is located. Nothing right there. Here we have a thunderstone. Obviously, this is more of a telltale sign of like what kind of uh, Pokemon you can, can, can actually find. And then, of course, we found ourselves a fire stone. What else did we find? A dust stone. And what else? What else? There's... A shiny stone and it's pretty much it but look at all these Pokemon that you can actually find right here guys every single one of these guys will give you levels including the Glalies and Abomasnows and this is actually the place where where I actually trained all my Pokemon now here we found an assault vest of course an item that to be held by a Pokemon this offensive vest raises special defense but prevents the use of status moves which is kind of a uh, lame, but you know it's a good trade-off. And what else? 
nothing right here except a lot of rare Pokemon that you can actually capture. Look at this guy, a Navalug. That's a Pokemon you can actually battle and just train your Pokemon like nobody's business. Like I said, when I got Score Bunny and evolved it all the way to shoot, what was it? What was the name of the Pokemon right here? Hold on, I have a, I have the evolved form right here. Hold on. Actually, uh, let's see. I have these guys in ABC order. Let's go ahead and sort these guys out by by number. Let's go all the way back up here. What was the name of this Pokemon right here? Oh, yeah, Cinderace. By the way, guys, I finally evolved my Pokemon into Cinderace. But once I evolved my Score Bunny into Cinderace, this was the area right here where I actually just maxed out my Pokemon's levels. It was ridiculous. And every single day, guys, it's every single day you'll be finding a different kind of evolution and all that stuff. Do I have a Glealy? Hold on. I gotta check. I gotta take a look right here. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here. Uh, confirm. And let's go with A to Z. Okay, so here we are, Glalie, or uh, Glaceon, I should say. Yes, I already got a Glaceon. Uh, believe it or not, right here, you can actually evolve an Eevee with an Ice Stone. They probably should have done that from the get-go, but if you guys remember back in the Sinnoh games, basically any games before, I would like to say, Generation 7. Correct me if I'm wrong, before Generation 7, you had a, you actually had to touch an icy stone in order to evolve a, an Eevee into a Glaceon. He, here, you can actually use an ice stone now, as well as, a, what was it, a leaf stone for, for Leafeon, which, again, they should have done that. And look at that, we found ourselves a Lapras, or, by the, by the way, our future Nessie. And look at that, we are finding Pokemon up the you-know-what, but we're also finding items as well, like this. The TM65, which of course is the uh, Shadow Claw technique. And well, I'm going to be get getting these berries uh, later on. I'm just going to be uh, doing my own thing right now. Just showing you guys uh, what's going on. All these Pokemon that you can actually find thanks to the uh, bike. Thanks to the bike, you know, swimming and all that crud. And then, let's see, what else can we find right here? There's, I don't think there's any, any other water spots around here. Except maybe on the other side. It is stormy. So you guys already know what, what's going on right now. Now, once you defeat the gym leader, or once you defeat the 8th uh, gym leader, the Pokemon that you actually find in the wild area will get a lot harder, especially the ones that are just, you know, super strong right here. I believe they're in upwards of at level 5 and all that stuff. And, uh, well, I am actually thinking of doing it right now just to see what kind of Pokemon we can actually find right here. So let's go ahead and grab that, and wow, we got a four-star, uh, what was this Pokemon called? Uh, it's a trap Pokemon. I can't remember what the name, <laughs> can't remember the name of the Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch to Pokemon right here. We have to go with a uh, fire type, so let's go with Baconator. And I might as well just show you guys what, what this is all about now. Again, these Pokemon, the, the higher the stars, the tougher they will be, and... This is a first, look at this. A stunt disc. My bad. Wow, like I said guys, it's, it has been a while. Okay, so a stunt fish. Very powerful, very strong, very scary. Let's go ahead and Dynamax right off the bat and hopefully just beat this guy. So here we go, Dynamaxing for the first time in quite some time. And, well, I seem to remember getting this guy in a uh, Dynamax battle as well, Baconator. And, well, here we are, all Dynamax and everything, and, well, here comes a double kick, which is powerful, and, wow, hardly does any damage to this Pokemon right here. Look at that, Stunfisk, very, very strong. So, what's going to happen, Baconator's going to go with his Max Flare attack, and... And that takes a lot out of this Stunkfish. Now, after this, I'm pretty sure it's going to raise up its defenses. And yes, it is. Uh, yes, its defenses go up. As you can see, it's got three bars. Now, once you destroy all three of those bars, its defense and special defense will, will go down immensely. 
This will actually leave it open for a big attack, and wow, that's a max airstream, so that could be bad for me. Holy crud, okay, so let's see, life do. This actually, yeah, this actually gives us a good HP right here. It recovers, and that Togepi will not faint right now, and here comes the revenge, and there, oh wow, it had a focus sash. Now, remember, if your Pokemon faints while it's Dynamax, you automatically lose, or lose, I should say. If the Dynamax Pokemon defeats, you know, four Pokemon, it will, you know, you will lose. And, well, look at that. Its defense has broken. So now that leaves it wide open for a huge attack right here. So here we go. Baconator for a max flare attack. And, yes, look at that. Say goodbye to Stunt Disc. So let's go ahead and uh, try and capture this guy right here. So I think I already got it, but it doesn't really matter to me. Let's go ahead and use... Let's go, let's go ahead and use a Great Ball right here. Okay, so there it is. Great ball. Let's go. And come on. Stay in it. Stay in it. One. And, you know, I've actually had a Pokemon break free through this. I actually thought that it never did. And look at that. We caught ourselves a Stung Fist. That's right. What now? And this guy is a four-star Pokemon, meaning you're going to get a lot. You got a Stone Edge, Spikes, Power Gem, a few Dynamax candies, a lot of large candies right here. Just a lot of good items right here. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of this stuff, uh, or I'm actually going to be doing a lot of these capturings off-screen. And, well, you guys will be surprised. Hold on, I'm just going to not give it a nickname right here because I kind of don't want to. So let's go ahead and send it to the box and mission has been accomplished right here. Okay. So let's see. That is pretty much it right there. Pretty sure you can actually find another Pokemon right here. Very strong one. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. Sneezing. Sneezing. Pardon me, guys. And here is a, a Moonstone that we have not gotten. And let's see. Oh, wow. You can actually find Scrafties here. A lot of rare Pokemon. Uh, there is a Pokemon hidden in here. A Dragon-type or a Ground-type Pokemon. That is uh, a very, very powerful, very, very rare Pokemon. I'm just trying to find it right here. It's within the forest. And there's nothing here. I think I've already been through this area. And let's see. That guy's in high defense. And there is nobody here right now. But... In this area, you can actually find either a Tyranitar or a Hakmo'o, or Kapmo'o, or whatever the name of the Pokemon is, depending on the uh, version. And here we have another item, a Rare Bone. And we are going to be... Wow, look at this. Another pond right here. And I see a TM. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. And... Wow. Found ourselves the TM73, the Cross Poison Attack. This one right here is a slashing attack with poisonous blades that may also poison the target. Critical hits land more easily. It's a very powerful attack, which I will be using. And, well, let's see. Really isn't anything else except just grabbing these little items right here. Again, these are some items that you can actually sell for money and all that crud. And look at that, pungent roots. You gotta love those pungent roots. I don't even know what a pungent root is. And, well, let's see. That guy I will not capture. And that guy I will not capture. There's a pseudo wudo. I think I already caught ourselves a pre evolution. And, well, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. So, let's see. Yeah, there really isn't anything else that I, I, I want to actually, uh, I actually want to, like, show off right here. Except for the fact that, you know, like, you know, as I was saying earlier on, that, you know, I may make a switch here and there for a Pokemon. Because, uh, something that I've noticed in both my teams, and that is that, uh, well, despite the level, the level differences in both Sword and Shield, and that's mainly because... I kind of want to say 
yeah, I kind of want to say that a few or two Pokemon in uh, in Shield have been traded from Sword. There's also the fact that I don't know. I just don't like for my Pokemon. Yeah, for my Pokemon Sword uh, game, the team right here, uh, it's it's it just kind of. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to put it, guys. It kind of just feels a little, uh, a little off, and I kind of have an idea. Yeah, I kind of have an idea of where I want to switch it, who I want to switch, and what kind of uh, moves, attacks, and you know everything else in between. What I want to do for this team. Uh, let's see. Now, let's see. We're gonna be getting back to hammer. Actually, we're. We're going we're gonna to be getting to the entrance of it because I kind of feel like we kind of we kind of have to go to the uh, to the station right there. There might be some kind of transition there, but uh, so after this episode right here, guys, I will be taking a small break from Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that's mainly because we're gonna be leveling up, we're gonna be trading, doing the whole shebang, getting ready for the Pokemon League. There's gonna be a nice, uh, well, a tiny hiatus. Just a tiny, tiny one, and it's not going to be... It might not be longer than a week or two, so just keep that in mind, guys. But there will be other walkthrough videos, such as, you know, uh, Heart Gold, uh, Stadium, Stadium 2, uh, hell. What, are, what, what other games? What other games am I playing? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of games, guys, that I've been playing, so... What I'm going to do right now is I'm actually now is I'm actually going to stop at the entrance area of the wild area here. So yeah, let's go right here. I think I've already gotten everything that I need to go. So here we are, guys, at the entrance, and well, our the wild area is our oyster. We're going to be doing a lot of work in both sword and shield. Don't be too surprised if you see a boatload of changes and all that stuff. Trust me, guys, there are more episodes to come. It's just good old Draven here needs to level up his Pokemon now. So thank you guys again for watching this episode. Sorry if I talked to you guys' ears off. Keep an, uh, keep, uh, Stay tuned. Stay tuned. There will be more walkthrough videos. And uh, we will be back for Pokemon Sword and Shield in about a week or two. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.